Welcome to Hey Ivan, a channel where people ask tech questions. Today's question is, how do I take the video on this VHS tape and convert it into a format that I can play back on my computer or that I can get onto my smartphone? And that's an excellent question. But first, what the heck is a VHS? <laughs> a VHS tape is a videotape a video home system tape. You know, I used VHS tapes for years and didn't know what the VHS stood for. So back in the 1970s, late 1970s, VHS tapes came onto the scene and they became the most popular video format available. Before that, there were other formats, but this is the one that became affordable for the masses. And if you or your parents grew up in the 1980s, like I did, you probably had dozens of these around your home, if not, hundreds of these things. As a matter of fact, back then, a lot of commercial movies became available on VHS. And I think the reason that this format became so popular for so many people is that it finally became affordable for millions of people to get their hands on a video camera cassette recorder or a camera recorder or camcorder. And with these little devices on their shoulders, people were able to capture some of their most precious memories and put them on the magnetic tape inside of VHSs and store them for years to come. But here's the problem. The magnetic tapes inside of VHSs deteriorate over time. And in something like 10 to 25 years, it's possible for up to 20% of your tape to become damaged. So it's a race against the clock to take these precious videos and bring them forward into a format that's compatible with today's technology. And that's what we're gonna do in the next few minutes. So what do you need? You need a VHS tape, a VCR to play back your video, RCA cables, capture hardware, capture software, and a Windows or Mac computer. While there are capture devices that allow you to use just specialized hardware instead of separate software or a computer, I find you get more options and flexibility with editing if you use a computer instead. I went through this journey a few years ago. My wife and I have been married for a long time, and for many years, the only copy of our wedding video was on this VHS tape. And she asked me years ago, could you please transfer this to something so that I can play it back on the computer? And I said, sure, but I never got around to it. So a few years ago, I went out and I got the Elgato video capture software and hardware, and I used that to transfer the video into a format that I now keep on my phone. Now that we've connected the VCR, all of the cables, we've attached the Elgato video capture unit and have launched the Elgato video capture software, we land on this screen. Whenever you launch Elgato video capture, it will suggest the title of your movie be My Great Movie. We're transferring our wedding video. Just below that, we'll see an option to select approximately how long the movie is. I don't remember exactly how long our wedding video was. I think it was 90 minutes. So I could select this, and then later on, I'll have an opportunity to tell the Elgato video capture software that it can turn itself off after that amount of time has passed. I'm gonna sit here and watch the video play by. So let's go ahead and click continue. On this screen, we have an opportunity to choose how the VCR is connected to our Elgato. We're using composite or RCA, and we get to choose the aspect ratio of our video, which is four by three. So let's go ahead and click continue. On this screen, I'll press play on the VCR, and we should see a preview and also see audio levels for the video. Let's click continue and then start recording. Now, there's an option here, automatically stop recording after 90 minutes. I'm gonna uncheck that. Now, the thing about transferring video is that you have to let the whole tape play all the way through. Okay, we're gonna stop it here just after four minutes. The Elgato keeps a tally of the duration and the amount of storage space required for the video. And after you've recorded for a little bit, once you stop, you have an opportunity to trim the beginning or the end of the video. So let's see if we can scan forward a little bit and skip over the opening of our screen to right when the video started. We can go back to the end of the video and rewind to just where we'd like the video to stop. So we can trim off unwanted footage at the beginning or the ending of our video. And when we click continue, we're offered an opportunity 
opportunity to, uh, <laughs> to go look where the file is. We can see that our movie was saved successfully to the movies folder on our computer. At the end, we can click again if we'd like to do another movie, another VHS transfer, or we can quit the app. If you're wondering how the process works with a compact VHS cassette, the kind that you might get out of a camcorder like this one, it's almost exactly the same as what you've seen. What you'll do is you'll plug in your camcorder, eject the cassette, and then insert it into a cassette adapter like this one. This will allow you to take that cassette and insert it into a VCR just like you've seen so far. The rest of the process is identical. Now that you've got a digital copy of your movie on your computer, it's pretty easy to get it onto your phone. If you have a Google account, you can go to drive.google.com and upload your video there. And then on your phone, download the Drive app and you're set. If you're using an Apple account like I am and an Apple computer, you can use AirDrop to AirDrop the video from your Mac to your phone, where it'll be copied into your Photos app. If you have a Dropbox account, you can copy your video into it and then use the Dropbox app on your phone to play it back. Or if you use Plex like I do, you can drag this video and put it in the folder on your computer that's associated with your Plex account, and then you'll be able to play it back on any of your mobile devices from anywhere in the world with internet access. If you'd like to learn more about VHS tapes and VCRs, check out an excellent YouTube video linked in this description. You have a question for Hey Ivan? Drop a comment and let's see if we can find you an answer. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.